We turn the spotlight to the latest developments from the special probe team's investigation into the Chesunjil case. New details emerged today that will likely intensify the investigation. Our Pang Wujun at the Independent Council Office reports. The Independent Council team confirmed Tuesday it has confiscated a tablet computer submitted last week voluntarily by lawyers representing Chen Junxi's niece, Chang Xihuo. The team's spokesperson, Yi Yuchar, said the device contains numerous emails related to the establishment in Germany of a controversial sports foundation controlled by Che. After considering the email account used on the device, its usage data, and list of contacts, we can confirm that tablet PC belongs to Che Sunshil. The emails also reveal evidence concerning Che's acceptance of financial support from Samsung and a draft version of a speech made by President Park in a closed-door meeting of her secretaries in 2015. The spokesperson said this tablet is not the same one initially obtained last October by Korean broadcaster JTBC, which initially sparked the now sprawling scandal. That device, it's been argued, was not obtained properly and therefore cannot be used in court, a contention the spokesperson acknowledged. But the new device, he emphasized, was confiscated through an appropriate legal process. Meanwhile, the team also confirmed it filed a request on Monday for preliminary arrest warrants for four former high-level officials linked to an alleged blacklist of cultural figures deemed critical of the government. The suspects are former Culture Minister Kim Jong-dok, former First Vice Culture Minister Chong guan ju and two former presidential aides Kim Sang-yul and Shin dong chul The charges against them include perjury and abuse of authority. With the confiscation of the tablet computer apparently belonging to Choi Soon-sil herself, the focus is now on what evidence the device contains and how big of a blow it will be to the president's jail confidant. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.